Here we are, not a hood day. Vroom, 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 vroom. Good day all, today we are going to be doing an engine rebuild Season 1, Episode 2 Do it yourself on a BMW 3 to b 48 hybrid so Now we are going to be continuing with the removal of the starter and unbolting the transmission oil cooler To get to the oil cooler, it have a bracket that we need to remove. The hose on the left is for the coolant. That one could be removed. The one on the right that has a green clip on it that one is for the oil and transmission oil and that would yeah. be staying there uh, after that we will just be on bolting the transmission oil cooler and shifting it to the side We then proceeded to remove the hood shocks, didn't need to remove the entire hood as you can see. Then we removed the downpipe bracket and also labeled the bolts. After that we supported the engine with cherry picker and removed the driver side engine mount as well as the passenger side engine mount. Now we proceed to remove the transmission bolts, the bolts that were in between the transmission and the engine. Here you can see we remove the support, the transmission support, the bolts from there and support the rudder jack so we could lower it and get some room to work. We have a mesh on the scene here underneath, finally get the boy to do a little work. Exhaust still in place, didn't remove the exhaust. Alright, there's a diagram of the transmission so you can see where the bolts located. Then we tighten back the transmission support, the back bracket, and then we started the um, put the jack in the front to support and started to separate the engine and the transmission. I have a jack in the back. We just want jack on the engine. Yeah, you can see a jack between the transmission and the cable itself is routed on the engine so you need to remove that jack and here you can see a bracket supporting all the cable the wiring from the transmission so we're just gonna be removing these removing the ground so i'll show you where that goes all right so you're removing the bolts two bolts gonna be removed here and then the bracket would come out you could actually see the jack lying down there as well. Yeah. <laughs> 
Aí, tá vendo? Oi, tu é uma minha? É. Aí, Murano. É, ali a gente vai sair em bosta de fome, né? Tô com a morte. É, você vai ficar lá com a morte. Não, vai ir de baixo aqui. Vai ir de problema. Se dá a batenga, tu vai estar em bagarre, não vai ter a movie. I'm still um, our next thing. Oh shit, that bolt on the block. Now when the engine comes out. Well yeah yeah, when it's uh, when it's clear, before you raise out, once you show everything clear, I just stop on and I'll come to the video. No one of men is careful on a thing. You can just show engine come out easy. They ever show only headache? Sorry, the engine made us here a little bit. You put the hose face and don't want something, or? Oh, the hose here. Hi right, guys, so here we have it before the A330E engine coming out. So you got everything cleared. Just gonna be very careful when taking out. Already attached the cherry picker. And we got the compressor here, the AC compressor is still attached. So we're leaving this on the vehicle and pulling the engine separately. Transmission already. Separated transmission already separated, engine is coming.
Yo, ça va bien. So you got the two engineers here, and the senior mechanic operating the cherry picker. So the AC compressor is still attached, no lines were cracked, so everything is still fully gassed. Just gotta watch the bonnet. So you got good clearance here. Engine is up. Yeah, we cleared it. Hi <laughs> right, guys, so here you have it. Transmission side. This is basically a spline input shaft, just like a manual transmission. That's what you got here. So you got a spline input shaft, just like a manual transmission. On the transmission side. Going into the engine side here. Yeah, come, come. Forget Now, best you come and rest it. Yeah, rest it over and just lay it up. Time to bring it on the engine, son. Yeah, yeah, it's not matter, it's just a temporary yeah, thing. Like,
Que de soca é dois? Ele não vai, é os empilhados. Puxa o ali só que não é. Puxa o ali só que não é. E pode aproveitar. Ah, tá. Não posso, não. Yeah, here we're going to use that at home. Um, eventually, yes, but not right now. You have to use that for the timing. You have to set the timing on top of that center first. I'm going to take it out just to clean it, and that's all. Now, the next story, I'm going to put them in the washer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please pop us. Hey okay, guys, so the next part, so mount the engine onto the engine stand. So using a regular engine stand and going onto the where the transmission was bolted. Yeah, well good. Four points the transmission was bolted. Hey guys, so you have she in here. Move on the cover, on the crankshaft side, or the crankshaft pulley side. We have the engine on the stand here. A bit of engineering went on. statement is not drink over period we do this sir. <laughs> yeah I had a guy book it yeah. don't forget it yeah. right, so does that look at the front of the engine here yeah? it's supposed to just spread over that way that will be like that over that will be yeah but I have a clutch in it you know that will make up like a flex plate at all eh? no the 24 them eh? they have a damper in it and you can fly it and when I run slap on my rear pressure, so normally it says well it. But this this have a clutch for that piece of spin inside it. 
Probably that's where all the grease fly out. From inside. Yeah, well, fly will clean it. So that's why you're using a special tool to rotate. You're going onto the bolts and well, you're using well, that to rotate it. Yeah. <laughs> so here are the so there's the tool you're using here. Going on to these four bolts. There's the tool you're using. Going on to these four bolts here. And then you're using a normal half inch socket and you're rotating clockwise. Are you good there? No? It's been there for a minute. Yeah. Right, we got engineer number one here rotating. Right, one. Well, you got Shane here Thank looking you. in the area for the lock in place. I think that's it. For the flywheel. Third, easy. The car had the pin in place. Right. Okay, that's it. Alright, so the pin is in here. Right, so where the timer? We see the timer now, the mark. The timer? When you open here, you just see. It, it do have any mark. On the outside? Mm -hmm. But I still need to make a full rungs. But I find a pin going in much later. Yeah, I still need to make a full rungs. The pin is located inside. And it's locked in the back of the flywheel here. There's a groove where it's yeah. locked inside. Yeah, but still, yeah. you show that the timer because end of the day, if you spin again, you make a rev and you come back to that okay, point. Okay, so there's the time and tool to lock it. No, so it's already one. rotated in the correct direction and it's just locked in place here. In the flywheel here, you got a groove where it's fitting in. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned. Season 1, episode 3. You can rebuild, do it yourself. Comment soon. Season 1, Episode 3.